All right, so the summer update for Hypixel is uh, finally out. It feels like it's taken a, long, a lot longer than um, normal for this update to come out. Like, normally it's like mid-June, I'm sure. Whoa, 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 chill, 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 chill. That's really early to rush me, I can't lie. Why am I losing this? Bro, you have no up. What? Uh, okay, let's try that again. So yeah, I feel like this update came out really late compared to most years. And it honestly feels kind of lackluster as well. Like, it feels like they just kind of forgot about it until like last minute because there's no new... Um, achievements for summer which normally there's like a lot if you have maxed summer achievements on the server before like this this year then you've still got it maxed so you know which is a shame for uh, achievement hunters i've been achievement hunting quite a bit recently um so it's a shame that like there's no new ones what's going on okay let's just let's just chill let's just chill and i don't know why like it's so random because they always do it like every event you know uh christmas and easter there's always uh new achievements and this is the first time uh, they haven't just they just haven't had any. So, uh, but they have got new maps, um, not as many as normal. I'm pretty sure we normally get like a couple unique ones uh, alongside a bunch of reskins, but we have no reskins. We have two uh, brand new maps, but zero reskins. So I don't know. It, again, it just kind of feels a bit lackluster, which is a shame. Uh, because, you know, normally the summer, like, uh, maps and achievements are, are really fun. Um, you know, everyone's got, like, loads of time off school and stuff like that. So it's, you know, it's good good time to kind of grind it out. But there's just kind of none of it this this year. Which is a shame, but it's it's okay. The new maps uh, are okay for Skywars. I've only played a few games with them, so maybe our opinion will change. But, like, this map, I don't know. It's it's interesting. Uh, this is, like, normally, like, completely filled up. I guess someone, like, used TNT here. But basically, like, yeah, you can de <laughs> someone definitely used TNT here. But when I first played this, I thought this was, like, empty. I was like, why is they're just float floating chests and i realized it's just glass but yeah it kind of reminds me of that like one bed or something i don't remember the name but i'll put a picture on screen but yeah like i don't know i don't mind this map it's okay um it gets a bit hectic at mid uh, at the start of the game which we saw in this game actually but overall i think it's it's fine i think it's the better one of the two that we've got um so you know there's that it's, it's definitely not the worst uh season lap we've had um, we normally get, honestly, normally they're pretty bad. So, I mean, I'm glad they're just not, they're not the worst thing in the world. So this is the, uh, the other map. This is a uh, pit stop, um, which it feels like they kind of run out of ideas. Like, it's just a gas station, bro. Uh, I'm not hitting though. I like it. It's, it's, it's a nice, uh, theme. It's pretty funny. But what I really like about these, uh, two new maps is that the spawn islands are both, like, really good in my opinion. Especially for insane mode, I really like when maps have, um, like, all three chests on top of the uh, island rather than like having one down like a cave because it's possible in in insane mode to get like everything you need from the first two chests right which are normally the two chests on top of the island meaning you don't have to go and get the third chest you don't have to go down like a, a cave or anything like that and obviously that purely comes down to rng so if like you're on a map if you don't get that lucky and you do have to get all three chests but you're on a map that where like you have to like go down a cave to get your third chest you're going to be at a, a quite a this big disadvantage in terms of like uh, how fast you get to mid compared to the other players anyone who who gets all their stuff in the first two chests i just like had a major lag like right there hypix has been really laggy recently like there's been so many like people getting disconnected and stuff for like prolonged periods of time it's really weird i'm not sure what's going on with the server right now but honestly this app's not as bad playing it uh, a second time i think it's um this is interesting this is like you've got two chests here and you can go up i kind of like the height to it it's pretty nice I'm not sure how well fights would be on here, especially in this part. It's kind of weird, but I don't know. Like, I don't really, like, I'm not a huge fan of this. Like, you can easily get, like, stuck here, you know? Like, it's it'll be hard to run. Maybe it would be good for running because you can kind of block off. I'm not sure. I'll have to play it before I can really decide if I like it or not. Um, I kind of like the chest spots, though. They're, they're not bad at all. I am a fan of maps with, like, fairly spread out chests, uh, but having, like, a couple in the center. You, if it's, like, comes to refill, you can take mid control here, get majority of the chests, uh, but you can also, you know, you, you're not going to have all of the chests. Like, you, if, you, if you have mid control, people can still get other chests there's still ways or if someone if your opponent has mid control you can still uh you know get yourself a mid chest or two um just by you know keeping like a corner to yourself or something see i don't hate this uh the cobwebs i don't think they'll be a problem really because they're so high up but they definitely could be but i don't think that's gonna be a big issue the spawn islands again are nice um I can't imagine really fighting in there. That could be like, there could be like a trap potential there in the little caravan. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, they're definitely like decent uh, seasonal maps. I feel like seasonal maps are kind of notorious to not being the best. I gotta say though, even though we only got two maps uh, this summer, I'm kind of glad that like we got like two completely, you know, unique maps rather than like uh, returning maps because it's always nice to just sort of have like something brand new, you know? Anyway, let's just, let's just get rid of this guy. Oh my God, he's just better than me, but hold on. Come on, you can you can die. That's fine. There we go. GG, GG. 
Please? There we go, GG. We also got some new cosmetics in the event shop for summer 2023. Because I played so much during the Easter event, uh, I've already got like all the uh, event items in the shop this year, since I had so much event level left over. So I'll just go through all the new cosmetics. We've got the milkshake cage, which I think looks really cool. Sadly, it's got like a, a solid floor. So I don't think it'll be very practical. I don't like when cages have a solid floor because it means like you can't see straight down. So you can't see like right what's like beneath you. If you're trying to like, if you're playing like a new map or something or a map you're not familiar with, you're trying to see where the chest is. I don't know. It's not the most practical thing. Pineapple cage. I haven't actually seen the inside of it yet, but I know like the, the, the walls only have like two blocks of glass on each side. So like they're not... Again, it's not the most practical thing. Um, it doesn't really look anything like too special either. It's just a pineapple. Like, I mean, what more do you expect really? I don't know. It looks fine. But we also got uh, the Ring of Fire kill effect, which I've been using in this video. And it's pretty nice, honestly. I quite enjoy that. It is quite self-explanatory. What it does, it just sort of creates like a ring of fire. And the, the ring just expands and then disappears. It's pretty cool. It does kind of feel like it's getting in the way. Like, I feel like, I don't know. Maybe it's just I'm not used to it, but I always feel like I'm just going to get set on fire whenever I kill someone. I feel like it, it's kind of scary, but I don't know. It's good. I like it. And then we also got the Flame Rings projectile trail. I'm not huge in this one. It's just, again, you know, it's just like, it's, it's self-explanatory. It's just rings of fire around your uh, projectile. It looks fine. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm just, I don't know. I think it could be better. I'll wrap up this video with one more uh, game on Lake Attack, the first map that we played. Um, again, like I said before, these maps have like all the chests on, on top of the island, which I really, I, I don't know. I really appreciate it. I feel like in normal mode, it's not that big of a deal because most of the time in normal mode, you just kind of like get one chest and then rush. Or at least, I don't know. I guess it depends what like kick you're using. Or what, I don't know. I don't really play normal. I don't know how it works, what people, what strats people use, but I'm pretty sure like one chest rush is kind of the, the meta for, for normal. Um, whereas like frog rushing is the meta for insane. And um, this map's actually like good for frog rushing as well, or at least it's not good for frog rushing, but I like how you have to bridge even with like the jump boost. So like it adds like, so you know, you can't just go to mid straight away like on a lot of maps now. And I think that's, I think that's a good addition. Cause it, I don't know, it gets kind of annoying when, when people just like, like rush mid with frog without even looting a single chest and i don't know they're, they're normally like really free kills but like sometimes they just manage to get like one mid chest that gives them pearls and they get away with all the mid stuff and it's like ugh, why 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 couldn't they just like need at least one block to get to mid then that way oh that guy's gonna die oh i got him that's huge okay come on all right uh okay i've got boots now i'm full diamond that's good okay I really wanted to kill that other guy. I was trying so hard. I was talking to him so bad just because, like, I didn't want to get cleaned by the person behind me. But yeah, honestly, I'm, I'm not huge on this uh, projectile trail. Like, it looks, I don't know. It's, it, it, it is what it says it is, you know? It's, a, it's like a flame ring or whatever, whatever it's called. I don't even remember anymore. But it's, uh, it's just not the most um, amazing thing in the world. I'll definitely go back to notes uh, after this video, I think. Let's just finish this guy off here. Goodbye. GG. There we go. Well done. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. If you made it this far, comment scuba because another bad thing about the summer update is that the summer unique game mode scuba simulator did not return. Anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.